Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video I showed you the Super Minecart counter contraption over there. Um, I want to show you how to make the RS Norlatch array, the conditional RS Norlatch array that's the heart of these counters. And they oops, they all start with a, um, the simple uh, RS Norlatch here, if I can get it done right. And uh, this particular RS Norlatch is one of my favorites that I came up with a while back and it's turned out to be a really useful RS Norlatch, that's it basically. And what we're going to do is we're going to stack a bunch of those in an array, like so. You can go as far as you want, uh, go up to 9 if you, or 10 if you wanted to use one of those display units. And uh, we'll just start with the basics to show you how they're made. So go ahead and continue building these RS Nor latches out. Like so. Just copy the pattern down. And then once you have uh, the RS Nor latches set, we're going to add. Uh, in between those, we're going to add the uh, conditional part of it. They're um, basically some sort of AND gate, I guess. I um, don't know the, exactly what you call it because it's uh, it's not quite uh, in your standard pattern, I suppose. But anyway, um, we're going to use the output of the, fir of the first RS Nor latch to, to determine to determine whether the next RS Nor latch will uh, be able to be lit up or not. So that's um, how that works. And then the next one's going to have to be a little bit uh, offset um, because you can't have uh, these pieces of dust here, they can't be on both sides of that torch. They have to be, uh, they have to only control one torch. So the next one's going to be a little bit different, and then we'll go back to the first pattern. So on the next one here, we'll do a double uh, repeater, and then we'll put the torch on that block here. So I'll show you how the, all this works here in a second. But uh, and remember, you have to have the block above there to turn that into the cr the uh, cross pattern. Otherwise, it won't send a signal to that torch. All right. So let's continue this out. Um, now we're back to the first pattern, which is only a single repeater, and then the dust. And make sure you put the blocker on top. And then uh, let's go ahead and make that the output for now. Um, extend this back out one. Whoops. That. And then uh, this is going to be going to be the um, the up down or the up button to tell it to add. A number coming through here, and I'm going to delay this so it uh, gives it time to uh, not interfere with the previous one. So let's see here. What else do I need? I need to bring this over here. This will be the, the last one in line, and uh, I think I need a delay on that one too. All right, so that should work. Uh, bring this back this way so we can see what's going on. Put a repeater in there just for fun. Put a button on that. Oh, sounds like a button. Where's my buttons at? Damn it. Alright, so let me reset everything. I screwed up a little bit there. All right, so let's see if I did it right. I might have to adjust some things. So if I hit the first button, there you go. It worked. Let's see if it works all the way through here. Not quite. So I'm missing something here. Ah, missing a piece of dust here. 
dust there, dust there, and dust there. And we got to reset these. This has to be powered. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it has to start powered that uh, up line, whatever you want to call it. Oops. Reset, 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 and reset. Okay. Right. What the hell am I doing? Oh, I need to uh, invert that. Okay. So we'll invert that one. There we go. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, so should be working now. Make sure it's working, and then I'll show you why it's working. All right, it's working good. Let me reset these manually. So what's happening is the first signal is is traveling, or the signal travels through here, and then it goes down the line here. And as it goes down the line, it checks to see if it can turn on these torches or, the, or set the RS nor latch array. It can't set this one there because if it turns off here, this piece of dust is still being powered by this torch here, which doesn't allow this torch to come on. So if I remove power from this side, it's still getting power from the other side. So this torch can't come on and it can't set that RS nor latch. So it keeps going down there, it keeps turning off and on, checking to see whether it can set an RS nor latch and it can't until it gets down to here and when this power goes out, out that comes on and it sets that first R snore latch. Now when I send a second signal down it comes down through here and it still checks to see if it can turn on these in turn and it can't until it gets to here. You see that torch over there is off now so that if this signal goes off it then allows it to set that R snore latch. So let's see if we can watch it come down through. So when I push this button, the signal is going to pass through here and it's going to try to set this one. It won't be able to, but it will be able to set this one because that torch is now out. And when this goes out, this torch will come on. So let's see if we can see that happen here. And so, and when I push the next one, the last one will pop on. So that's how it works. Uh, it, it just goes down and checks each one in turn to see if it can turn it on. And only when the previous one has been set will it allow the next one to come on. And um, and then it uh, and then it's set. So to reset all these um, what you can do is uh, introduce a reset line like I did in the other one. This is how you make it um, reset them all at once and uh, switch over to you know, 10 or whatever. So I pink it. So we're going to throw down a line coming through here. And what this line is going to do is it's going to power each of these uh, uh, pieces of dust behind here, which will reset all the RSNR latches. Oops. So if I um, send a signal down through here, it will reset everything. And if you want to set all these, um, way you can do it is uh, if you go underneath this side of the RS nor latch array you can uh, put a torch let's see, let's get rid of that for a second you can put a torch under this side of the RS nor latches to to reset them we're using this side and to set them we would use this side um, I'll go down through here and put a torch on each one, and then we'll uh, have to invert that. That was the last one, wasn't it? Yeah. 
So if I put a, um, a torch under each one, and then I put a repeater between that, I think it needs a little bit of delay. I'm not sure if that's 100% true or not. Throw a little bit of delay in there. And then we need to invert that so that it's normally off. And we'll bring this up and put a button on it. And then let me rehook this up so I don't forget. All right, so now they're they're all set. If I want to reset them all, I would hit the button over there, which I can't reach at the moment. That one there, so that resets everything. And then if I want to set them all, I would uh, hit that button, and it goes through and sets them all. All right, so if you want to uh, remove torches or uh, turn off torches or remove minecarts or whatever you're doing, uh, we'll do that on the back side here. We'll put uh, torches in between the RS North latches like so. You don't want one at the end, you just want them uh, starting one back from the end there. And then we'll put um, some repeaters like so. And we'll put some dust on top here and then some torches and then we're going to put a uh, signal coming from this uh, monostable circuit uh, the button pulse is just a little bit too long to make this work so we've got to shorten that just a little bit and then we need to put some blockers here to separate those signals and I think that should do it uh, let me uh, set everything up again. Yeah, we did something wrong here. Right. Why is that not lighting up? Stupid thing. There we go. That was weird. So now that you've done that, when you press the button on this monostable circuit, it'll uh, detect which is the last torch lit, and it will uh, turn that torch off, like so. What's happening here is when the monostable circuit sends its signal, it turns this line off and on real quick, and it goes down to the uh, well, it starts here at this side. It uh, try it turns off this dust here, and it tries to turn on this torch. But since this torch here is lit, it doesn't allow that R Snorlax to be reset. So it goes down to the next one, tries that one. It's not allowed to because that torch is on. Uh, goes down to the next one. Can't do that one either. So it goes down to the very end, and finally it's allowed to to reset that last R Snorlax, like so. Now, when I push the button again, the same thing happens. It tries all these RS nor latches in turn, and uh, the first one it's able to reset is this one here because this torch is now off. And then uh, the same thing down down the line. Like so. So, um, that is how you build it, and then you would just continue the pattern down if you wanted a larger one. Um, I'm sorry I can't explain how it works much better than that, but uh, it seems to work, so... Why is this gone? Just uh, accidentally deleted that. So anyway, uh, recap. Hit this button here. It adds torches. I want to remove torches, hit the other button to set them all you hit that button and to reset them all hit that one over there so I'll go ahead and uh, make this world available to you if you want to play around with it
Thanks for watching.